Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, bless this person that's on the other side. Oh God, I'm tired of being deceived by flattery. Bless them right now to understand, oh God, to know the art of flattery, of deception. Bless them right now, Jesus, now I pray. Amen. Welcome to Life Journey, Glory Church International. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. Romans, the 16th chapter, verse number 18. And read, for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speech deceived the heart of the simple. Many stop, listen, listen, listen. People stop. Men, yes, flattery stop men. He go to he stop mighty men to become weak. Yes, flatteries, flattery. How to stop the art of deception of flattery? Yes, many stop men become weak. Many virgins with hallelujah become virgin no more because they end up having a child. Or to be having, they become having disease, STD. Many Christians got deceived and still being deceived. Many seniors sending money overseas to false prophets and false pastors. Many listening still to T.D. Jakes and Joe Osteen or Cref O'Dala or Benning Hinn. How to stop the art of deception flattery now this is part six of the spirit of deception hey glory to god so how to stop the art of deception flattery part number six hey glory to god this one to say you say for they that are such serve not our lord jesus christ but their own belly their own intention their own greed and their own life and by good words and fair speech deceived the heart of the simple. Now, how to stop the art of flattery deception? What is flattery? Excessive, and I sincerely praise given especially to further one interest. Like a person always complimenting on the boss because the, the person wanted the boss to give the promotion. So they will say, good things about the supervisor just to call flattery. Amen. This is a, a form of manipulation, seduction, brainwashing scheme. Amen. Now, now it stated that, it stated that, listen what it say. He say, and by good word and fair speech deceive the heart of the simple. Yes, why they go after your heart? Because let's say, that's what the Bible say, guard your heart. And the Bible say, put on the, uh, uh, have the shield of faith. Have the birthplace of righteousness. And you are equipped, you are equipped for the warfare. My friend, guard your heart with all discipline because out of it come the issues of life. And we gotta put on it. We have to have a shield of faith to quench the dart of the devil, and we have to have the the breastplate of righteousness and protect our heart. And we gotta be equipped for warfare. Now Solomon, uh, uh, Absalom, did this scheme. What he did in Second Samuel the fifteen verse sixty, Absalom did this to all. The Israelite who came to the king for justice. In this way, he stole the heart of the men of Israel. He tells them that he can do a better job than his father. So the Bible says that he stole the heart of Israel. Who stole your heart? Now you do you you are doing contrary. To what the Bible say, you drop your panties, 
you drop your boxers and you give in to sex knowing that sex is wrong because you're not married stole the heart of the men of Israel Delilah did this to Samson and bind him took his strength and she said the Philistine is upon you Samson in, in Judges 16, chapter verse 16, and it came to pass when she pressed him daily, when daily, with her words, and urged him so that the soul was vexed unto death. My friend, glory to God, Delilah was after Samson's strength. Who's after your strength? Hey, glory to God. What, what a strange woman used on men. What they use, I'm gonna tell you what they use in Proverbs 5, 5th chapter, verse three and four. For the lips of a strange woman dropped as honeycomb. Honeycomb is sweet. And her, and her mouth is, is smooth than oil. She's slick. But her end is bitter worm, sharp as a two-edged sword. Ah, glory to God. Now, the church, the church of Galatia, he go, the, the church of Galatian, the church of Galatian got charmed for not obeying the truth. How they got charmed, preacher? The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 1, O foolish Galatian. What? O foolish Galatian. Hallelujah. Who? They say, O foolish Galatian. Who? So who was a person? He glory to God, have bewitched you, charm you, seduce you, fool you, that you should not obey the truth. What is the truth? Thou shalt not commit adultery. What is the truth? Thou shalt not fornicate. What is the truth? Thou shalt not steal. What is the truth? Thou shalt not gossip. What is the truth? Thou shalt not hate. He glory to God. So, so, so Paul said, who have bewitched you? Who has duped you? Who has seduced you? And who have fooled you? Ah, glory to God. In Psalms 12th chapter, hey, glory to God. Uh, uh, Psalms division number 12, verse 2, it say, They lie to one another. They speak with flattering lips and double tongue. When the board control you or people bribe you with gifts, in Isaiah 30, verse 10, it say, We say to the seer, see not. And to the prophet, prophesy not unto us right thing. Speak unto us smooth thing. Prophesy deceit. Who deceive the most? The heart of the simple. Those who are gullible. Those who believe myth and theory. Those who humanize or hypnotize. Those who are not like the church of Berea. They search the scripture where the thing was so. Was so what Paul was preaching and teaching. My friend, who deceive the most the heart of the simple though people that are gullible are you gullible flattery hey glory to god i'm talking about today my friend my subject was today how to stop the art of deception of flattery stop letting people compliment you to drop your your guard when people compliment you, they, they want you to drop your principle, go to God, of what God has said to you about holiness. So the, the Bible say that how in, in Romans 16, verse 18, for they that are such serve not the law. These false prophets, they don't serve God. The only thing they serve is mammon. The only thing they serve is fame. The only thing they serve is fashion. Glory to God. And what they do, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speech, deceive the heart of the symbol. It's amazing people still listen to T.D. Jakes. After T.D. Jakes say that Naomi and Ruth have a sexual relationship together. Uh, the same man. Yes, T.D. Jakes say that David and and hallelujah, uh, Absalom, David, and Jonathan, they was lovers. The same man, glory to God, he's walking with, with Oprah. Oprah, glory to God, she's a Jezebel. 
Hey, go with that. She want to tear down the church. That's why she's the one that do uh, uh, preachers of L.A. Church is not a script. Church is a lifestyle. Church is for change. Church is not to be like the world. We are we are showing example to tell the world they can be changed. Because the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the world, my friend, glory to God, when the world look at the church, they can look for change. They can look for confession, not a concert. Church is not about concert. Church is for change. If you go to church and you are not changed, you in the wrong church. Hey, glory to God, because the church is about Jesus. It's not about your pastor. It's not about the concert. It's not about who the choir is, who the preacher is, but church is for Christ. Did you go to church for Christ or you go to church for church? Hallelujah. Because church mean, mean choice, it mean change, and it mean confession, and it mean, my friend, a total conversion. That what the purpose of the church is. So be careful who flattering you to make you drop your draw, your drawers, and to drop your guard and to become another Samson. My friend, the Bible says Absalom stole the heart of the men. Hey, glory to God. So what I'm saying to you, my friend, the art of flattery deception. It is mighty and is active in our world among our church folks. People, glory to God, get get tricked by some some slick preacher, some some eloquent glory to God. We don't go to church to get motivated. We go to church to get saved. We come to church to be saved. The purpose of God saving you is for you to be saved, not to be motivated. Like a Joe Osteen. He, he come to motivate you. No, my friend. Glory to God. The gospel is to save your soul from the fire, from the flame. If the word of God, the Bible says, I send forth my word and heal them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wake up and stop being flattered by this slick preacher with a jerk curl. A slick preacher, my friend, and glory to God, he wear a money suit and he's brainwashing you with his suit, with his alligator shoes. My friend, don't mimic him, but trying to be changed from the word. Let the word of God change you. Let the word of God transform you. That's the purpose of being a Christian is to be changed, is to be confessed of your sin and then you are converted to be born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.